day in May. Hey everybody, I'm Gia. I'm one third of the Sirens, the Screen Sirens for Science, coming at you today to talk about nickel. That's right, the most useless coin in your purse that will get you exactly two minutes at a parking meter here in Los Angeles is made from a heavy metal, which probably explains how the band Nickelback got its name. Never made it as a wise man. Could have got it as a poor man's dealing. Nickel's atomic number is 28, which is the age I will be turning for the next eh, 5, 10 birthdays. The name Nickel comes from a mythological Teutonic character. He is a mischievous sprite, according to German minor mythology. That's M I N E R. He's kind of similar to Old Saint Nick, and he is so named because he personifies the fact that copper nickel ores resist refinement. <laughs> oh man. Germans are funny. What else? What else? Oh, speaking of actual nickel coins, the little silver guys you've got in your pocket only contain a little over a gram of actual nickel. And depending on the price of the element itself, a nickel can actually be worth more or less than its actual numerical value. But if you're thinking of melting down all of your nickels to pay off your gambling debts, think again. As of 2006, the United States Mint criminalized the melting down of nickel. If they catch you doing it, you can be punished with a fine of up to $10,000 and or up to five years in jail. Probably better just to drive Uber. Catch all three sirens here on Element a Day in May for the next three days of heavy metal and rock on. This is how you remind me of what I really am.